Hey folks, this is Vint with Ads Gaming Addiction, and today we're going to try out Guns Up. This is a free-to-play game that you can find on Steam. So if you like what you see here, you can head on down to the description, click on the link, and then download and play the game for yourself. So as soon as I booted up the game, uh, it threw me into one of those forced tutorials. So I went ahead and hit escape and uh, adjusted the sound levels and figured I'd start recording from here. So under the general tab, we've got gore, camera shake, vibration. I'm going to turn that off. Pause on focus lost. Video, gamma resolution, full screen V-sync, anti-aliasing, quality level. Audio, I have the music off for the sake of the commentary and to prevent copyright issues. Controls. Seems to be pretty standard. WASD, spawn units. Okay. Let's go ahead and give this a try. See how she plays. Okay. Advance on their base. Okay, so I'm going to be spawning units. I get it. Get some boots on the ground. I'm going. Relax. Where are you going? Alright, so how many bullets do I have? It says there's 100 and 500, so how do I know? Uh -oh. oh, there we go. Cool. So this is one of those... This is one of those, um, let's go ahead and use it here. This is one of those spawn units from the left, work your way right kind of things. Oh boy. Nice. Cool. I got this. I don't want to hit my own men, but... Have you done your part? What's the saying? The only bug is a dead bug? Enter your display name. Dad's gaming addiction. Oh, stupid character limit. Dad's gaming addiction. Oh. Uh, let's do GMG. There we go. Welcome to your base. This is the heart of your war campaign. Build and upgrade structures to keep it safe from enemy attacks. Other players can attack your base. Boo, I hate this. Oh, I hate this. Okay, I hate it when enemies can attack your base and they steal stuff. Let's add some structures. Click on the empty ground to enter build mode. Place a sniper tower. Click on the button below to open your build inventory. Uh-huh. All right, so this is a sniper tower, level one. All right. You can rotate it. Place your sniper tower by clicking the green checkbox. Enemies attack from the right, so make sure it's facing the enemy. All right, so something like that, maybe. Place a tent. Uh, okay. Spawns units at regular intervals. Supports up to three simultaneous waves. If cover is available, we'll populate with one tent spawn at start of battle. All right. So we're going to purchase a tent, and I guess we'll put it back here if we can. We can rotate. Assuming, I don't think we can fit it back here. I guess we have to put it here. All right, let's rotate it. Boom. Exit build mode by pressing hub. Get ready to defend your base. Okay. So it looks like you can actively defend your base too. 
All right, missile, landmine, decoy. 20 enemies. Well, let's put landmines down on key positions there. They have to sort of go that way. Boom. Oh, they shoot those. How nice. I'll put a decoy down here in a minute. Shoot the decoy. Oh, here we go. Alright. I want them all to... Aw, oh, they split up. Alright, let's get them all to group up in the one spot if they can. Doesn't look like they're going to do that for me. Alright, well, let's... There's more guys here. Alright, I got most of them, not all of them. Got another decoy. Alright, we're going to put them here. Four enemies left. Woohoo! Wave one. I kind of dig this. I just hope that when your enemies attack your base that you don't actually lose materials and stuff like that. Sort of like in uh, Metal Gear. I think it was five, was it? All right, uh, now that you've improved your defense, let's go to upgrade your army and your barracks. Click the recruit button to unlock the grenade launcher. Blast a hole in the enemy defenses with a high explosive grenade launcher. Excellent, he'll make quick work of your enemies. Let's take him to war and earn some munitions. So I guess munitions on the top right, that's your primary currency. Gold, I'm guessing, is your premium currency. You can go to war and attack other players to earn multi munitions, XP, and cards. Player versus player. Uh, I don't really want to, but if I have to. Um, OP Nomandy. <laughs> okay, sure. Get ready for battle. Assign units, perks, edit some attack cards to aid you. Alright, so I guess I can add my grenade launcher. Uh, this is level 7, which I can't do yet. Can't do that yet either. All right, move out. So it looks like we'll be earning perks as well. I'm guessing those are like passive bonuses. All right, so how does this work? Okay, so it looks like I'm attacking. All right, I guess we'll spawn, spawn stuff. And how do we get more munitions, I wonder? Rally flag. Looks like I get 15 munitions every so often. Oh boy, okay. Well, I'd like to use my missile against this guy, but not right now. Alright, oh, decoy, not that. Alright, get ready. Someone's got a mortar or two. Holy cow. Is that AA? Okay, I guess we did okay there. Level up. So we earned paratroopers and currency. New type attack. Assign attack cards to your loadout before each battle to give you the upper hand. Um, resources awarded munitions. Munitions are the currency. Yeah, I've got that. Oh, you can purchase card packs with them too. All right, so it looks like there's like a microtransaction thing going on here too. I'm assuming though that you can 
I'm, a, I'm guessing that there's going to be the option to use real money, too, but we'll see about that. All right. Uh, depot. Card packs. 20% off. What's this? All right. So here's the gold part of this, and I'm assuming I can buy gold. Gold in bundles. Yep, there it is. No free-to-play game is complete without microtransactions. All right. Card packs. Hopefully it's not pay-to-win. Attack card back. I can spend five thousand on that and get at, you know more more attack cards. Uh, boosts. Have to use gold for that. Customize banner. Uh, okay, so I don't think. Oh, I need no. So it looks like all of this customization requires gold. Customize army. Probably the same deal. Maybe not. Can I do a blue, like a blue army? Hat color and... Is that good? Apply. Oh, okay, so I don't need... Luckily, I don't need that. Color packs. Okay, this is also gold. All right, so I'm not going to do that. Build. Okay, so I can build stuff here. There's sniper towers, sandbags... Long sandbags, tank trap, anti-air, tent, and it looks like I gain build points. I'm No, I wonder if build points is how many things you can have in your base before it, you max max it out. Uh, okay, so some of this is gold stuff. I'm guessing a lot of this is just... I, I bet you this is just aesthetic, probably. All right, we'll do, I think we had a sniper tower already. Maybe another tent? Oh, more available at level eight, so I can't do that. I can do a mortar. More available at level six. Okay, so I can't do that either. I can buy a bunker, uh, sandbag. I guess we'll buy a bunker. All right, so I've got a bunker there. All right, so can we move existing? How do we move existing stuff? There we go, move. Um, let's do this. Let's move this down here and rotate it. Okay, and we'll move this like so. So, and how do I, how do I access the stuff that I just put away? All right, um, place, there we go. Maybe this one can be further back. All right, now what's the deal? How come I can't put this down here? Is it because it's within a certain radius of the existing one? That might be why. So, in other words, I have to move this up further, maybe, and then put this one back here. I could try it. Move. Maybe, can I move these? Demolish for two dynamite, which I don't have. Let's move this up, maybe. And then move that here. Now, let's see if I can put that other one back here now. No. All right, so I'm, I'm obviously, I think it's because I can't put it in the same area as this. I, I bet you I'm going to have to demolish these trees or something to actually fit two of them. It's either that or, I wonder if I can move, oh, I can move this up. Oh, I don't have to put that back here. I can put it up here now. That's useful. Okay, um, let's do that then. Uh, we'll place that. Here. Sure. I don't think they're going to come that way. Alright, that'll work. Hopefully the tree doesn't block that. Alright, and then maybe we'll... I don't want a well-placed shot to destroy that either. Like, I don't want, like, a grenade or something to hit both buildings, so I'll just move that back a little bit. And then I'll, I'll move this back to where it was, because I like it there better. Alright. Turn the hub. Inventory. 
Uh, gather munitions. Zero out of 1,000, go to war and earn 1,000 munitions. All right, reach level three. What's in my inventory? Okay, so here's the resource crates. Oh, I have one of each. Oh, no, I have to spend these keys or gold to open these. Okay, and the unit crate, I'm guessing, is the same thing. Yeah. I can I can add the bombing run? How much is that? Card recycler unlocks at level 8. All right, unit cap plus 2. I can... Okay. So I can't do this yet, I don't think. All right, let's try this one more time. Uh, CPU defend is at level 5. Alliance battles are at level 8. So I guess we have to do another player versus player thing. Um, so we can do a harder mission, but we have to pay 250 to do it. Super Brothers for... Let's do the easy one. You receive reduced XP and no cards. Of course not. Well, I guess we'll try this one. Feature unlocked. Attack card slots. Okay. Uh, so we want to add something here. Do we want uh, unit cap increase, tear gas, paratroopers, or bombing run? Let's go with paratroopers. Early access available for 300 gold, of course. It seems like everything is like gold. All right, move out. That's how they get you. All right, fist bump. I've got tear gas, too. I miss, I miss time that. Well, actually, I did. That was actually pretty good. Looks like attacks favor the attacker. I mean, from the looks of it. I got a key. All right, continue. New card type acquired. I wonder what this unlocks. Perk. Equip your units with perks to boost their offensive and defensive capabilities. No, oh, new unit. Frame rent, a flamer rental, okay. And some currency. Congratulations, perks, permanent items that boost the stats of your units. They can be assigned in the loadout before going into battle and can be upgraded by combining three of the same kind. Complete missions for rewards. Feature unlocked. Veteran squad now available. Your veteran squad fills up with units who have ranked up in battle. Veterans can be spawned in battle and will defend your base while you're away. View the veterans menu and the headquarters for more info. All right, so it seems like there's more to this game that I haven't gotten to yet, but so far I'm liking it. Again, I don't like... I'm not a fan of PvP, personally, but if this is more like an offline thing, as long as I don't lose munitions or resources every time I lose, I'm okay with it, you know? So anyway, uh, if you guys want to see more of this, let me know. I'm more than likely, I might show this off again if I get enough views. 
you guys haven't already, subscribe to my channel and check out my official website, www.dadsgamingaddiction.com. This is Vince. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time.